I, I have a question. Never taken a sip of alcohol, right? Hmm? You ever taken a sip of alcohol? Well, I don't need to because I'm always drunk. Ever, take, ever, ever smoke weed? I'm always stoned, you've not seen my eyes yet. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so I know that, I know that. So, so, so straight edge. But I'm wondering, as a, as a fellow uh, person who's curious about life to the highest degree, or as you would say, seeking, how have you not had the desire to try? So, see, you're living in a certain society, you think this is the only way to explore. I came up in a place where I made sure I'm not influenced by anything, either whatever the religion around me, the family around me, the community around me, the pol politics around me, I made sure none of those things influence me. I keep telling people, see, I, I'm absolutely uneducated. They think uneducation means not going to school or college, no. Uneducated means you did not pick up any ways of anybody's. You're simply the way the life is. Because your life, everything else is assumed. If you have experienced the nature of life that you are, and the source of life, which is also throbbing within you, why would you try picking up leaves and weed some? Aren't you curious? What you know through the weed, I know a million X over that within myself. So why will I be curious about something like that? Do you play with the teddy bear every day today? Yes, it does. Why are you not... <laughs> are you not curious how it feels, the child loves it so much? I went through the phase, I experienced it. That's what, when you were a child it happened, right? Right. So I'm saying I grew up when I was four and a half years of age. I'm also a fellow curious person and I had the thought process that I cannot die on this planet not knowing what a psychedelic does to my brain. I. I I've refused. That's something I, I, I wanted to try and before I died, and I did. And I'm, I'm just wondering from a fellow person who um, is seeking how, how that See. doesn't uh, titillate you in some way. <laughs> See, the thing is this, right now, uh, we are all sitting in the same place, breathing the same air, probably we eat similar food. At this moment, what is happening within me, how I am, I will not exchange this for anything in the universe. You give me the world, I will not change it. That's how big it is. If that's happening within you, you won't go pick weed, that's all I'm saying. So, I'm curious because I'm lacking. No, if uh, weed or whatever else gave you a little experience, you must understand, weed cannot experience, it's you who experiences. Weed might have stimulated some experience within you. Whether it is stimulated from outside or inside is the only question, right? If it is from outside, it always has a, a flip side of negativity to it. If it happens from within, when they suppose there was, say, people are drinking alcohol, if there was no hangovers, if there was no liver uh, burning up, whatever, they would be drunk all the time. If you could be too fully drunk and fully alert all the time, would you do it? Everybody, I would advise them, drink alcohol, okay? <laughs> right now, that's all I'm telling you. There is a way where you can be fully stoned and fully conscious at the same time. There is a lot of scientific research which says there are millions of cannabis receptors in your brain. You think they're waiting for you to smoke weed? I don't know. But they are there, that's a fact. So obviously, the system must have something to provide that possibility within the system. It is not that you have to go and pick something somewhere, it is here, because this is the greatest chemical factory. If you knew how to manage this, you wouldn't be in the back streets, you would make it happen here. <laughs>